everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, please. Slay the Spire. I'm saying Frig. No daily today, okay? Going straight into a defect ascension run. I want to get deep into the nitty gritty. The minutia. I will not feel like my recording session has been a success unless we come away with one Slay the Spire win in the next two or three eps. Transform. <sighs> Out of these, let's go through them. 100 gold. Neutral good. Transform a card. Probably chaotic good, because it's almost like... It could be a removal plus, if we take a strike out of the deck. Seven max HP remove two cards? I don't even know. That's like, uh, lawful evil or something. Lose your starting relic. Obtain a random boss relic. Chaotic neutral. You gotta go here. Yo, so we got energy. We have no lightning to start with. But we do start with four energy. That's an extremely good trade. We are going to have to remove curses from the deck uh, quite regularly. But, well, maybe we don't have to remove curses from the deck quite regularly. What we could do instead is go very, very hard into curse meta. It does require us... Um, hold up. It does require us... To get some very specific relics, but it could happen. I think this is a very, very good start. Let's just be smart. So what do we like here? In a thin deck, claw can start the bang. You just add claws over and over and over. But I really kind of think sweeping beam, I used to look down on it. Now I think it's like kind of agnostically pretty good. Like right there, six damage to all enemies kept us from taking uh, four damage. It's pretty solid. You got to go, obviously. And then for you, I'm going to have to take eight. Real problem with the defect, and this is true for the silent as well. There's no sustain. You know, you don't, if you take damage, that damage is permanent. It's a scar. I think we'll take Ball of Lightning. Now, I've noticed we had two opportunities for Claws, so I do kind of feel like that could have been a good option. Um, we could build towards the power deck, but this doesn't work too well as our first power. Leap, I think, is worth buying. And I think apart from that, We'll just store our money. Because we know when we open a chest, we're going to need to remove cards anyway. Or we're probably going to want, want to remove cards anyway. Sorry, I forgot how uh, to make my mouth make sounds that uh, have symbolic meaning in the English language there temporarily. Really bad turn to not draw Zap, but it's okay. Need to do 23 damage if possible. It's the only way we're, we were killing him there. And that's the only way we're taking no damage. This is a tough one. I think I'll go Beam Cell, and you're probably like, you had me pegged. You're like, he's going to go Beam Cell. You're not wrong. This guy's going to go. We're actually taking zero, which is surprising to me. We're just waiting on a Sweeping Beam, and that's going to do a lot of work for us here. This guy has to go. Well, um, we're taking one. I don't know if I've mentioned it. This guy's got to go. Please? Oh my god, we got there. <laughs> it didn't seem like we were going to be safe there. But dude, can we just say Sweeping Beam has done a lot of great work for us. It's enabled a lot more defense, especially because we have the extra energy. I guess that helps out a lot as well. Um, I will say with four energy, I kind of look at Reinforced Body as something that has the potential to be pretty good. Uh, so applying two Vulnerable is really nice. Zap being free is also really nice. I'm going to start with Beam Cell because I think it makes this uh, next Elite that much more killable. Well, maybe not. Uh, zap. Strike. I'll try to take zero. It's unlikely to happen, but... This deck, it lacks an identity right now, and usually I, I look to that as like a pretty big problem. Um, but I actually don't think it's horrible right now. We had to get in there. Um, I don't think it's horrible right now because we have extra energy. Like, right now, the identity of the deck is that we're able to play four cards per turn instead of uh, three. Ignoring the stuff that costs zero to begin with. Okay, we are going to take some damage. Probably got this guy next turn. We're going to rest, assuming we take maybe, let's say, less than ten more damage for the rest of this fight. We're probably going to rest when we go to our... Uh, campsite 
We're definitely going to rest when we go to our campsite. You can't do anything here. Okay. And uh, this will leave us okay, but we're obviously hoping for a top tier relic if possible. What do we get? Lantern. I think that's very, very good. Dude, there's so many claws. So, I'll level with you. I do feel like there's a missed opportunity uh, for us to have done a claw synergy. The only thing I'm going to say in my own defense is there is no way for us to have possibly known. I think you go on this turn. I mean, we got five energy. We might as well start to let him have it, right? We're probably going to want plated armor. And you still, I mean, our turns, it, it, we're pretty lucky in this regard, to be honest with you. But our turns basically play themselves. If we have four energy, we draw five cards. We can expect them to be curses now and then. Um, it makes sense. Are we going to take any here? We're going to take three. That's not bad. He's going to take another three. Um, we could probably kill him before he gets to attack again. We can definitely kill him before he gets to attack again. That went pretty well. Sundial is not that good. Um, I don't think Rip and Tear necessarily adds anything. I'm going to choose to probably fight one Elite. I don't know why the frame rate got so bad, by the way. We'll make Zap free. Even though I understand my logic for that, it seems kind of nonsensical. We're just going to try to... Oh, this is a terrible draw. Um... Killing this guy makes us take three less damage. As long as we can block through it in the end. We want to play this for two. It's pretty okay. Zap. Oh, let's go. Look at that. Didn't even have to worry about it. Just trying to make sure... More ball lightnings. Dude, we've had so many claw opportunities. Trying to make sure we're good. It's also a terrible draw. Terrible, terrible, terrible draw. Trying to make sure we're good for our elite fight. But to be honest, I'm a little skeptical now. We're going to be on 19 HP. We need to play two defends. So we have one of these out there. Every HP is pretty precious right now. I got to sneeze, too. Achoo! Lord. You know you're starting to get up there. And I know I'm not old, but that's why I said starting. Starting to get up there. When you, uh, routinely you sneeze and you brace yourself for, like, feeling something in your back pull. Luckily, that time felt pretty good. That was just exercise. Okay, um, we definitely do not need another beam cell. We'll take hologram and we'll basically hope we don't fight these guys. Um, we only need to play this for two. So I think we go like this. That's fine. Like this for two. Probably get, uh, liquid thorns out there. Who are we fighting? Okay, this guy, it's good to have thorns against him, but we also have bronze scales. So we're really just trying to make sure we survive. What I'm looking for, by the way, is, um... Can't kill him. No matter what we do, we can't kill him. Even with steroids, he would have been alive with 2 HP. He would have died on the hit, but so what? Um, we were waiting for sweeping beam, and then we're doing it. And you've got 15... You've all, it doesn't really matter if you take vulnerability. I'd rather do it like this. So I, I think that that was the proper use of the steroid potion. But obviously I'm a little bit perturbed by, you know, where we look as we get ready to go into our boss fight here. We're going to live. And we took what I would describe as a semi-aggressive approach. Dude, Mango. So helpful. With four energy, I think Echo Form fits any deck. We're going to be at 48 HP. I think it's plausible we live, but it should be scary. Doesn't really matter what we play. Um, I expect to get hit pretty badly on this turn, especially if Echo Form showed up. Thankfully, it didn't. Let's run the numbers. If we like ball light, what's, what's our best damage dealer? If we use the zero cost, no. So like a ball lightning, we need to hit you for 22. And right now, well, let's say 21. So this will add another 10. This will add another six. So we 10. 10 with a hologram. I don't think I can get you. Like, I'm trying to run the numbers. In my head, I'm like, if we ball lightning, hologram ball lightning. That's 14 damage. Plus another 9, which is 23. Okay. 
Well, what do you do? You trust the math, I guess. Thank you, brain. Thank you for slowing down. It's not because my brain is good. It's because I said, let's take a break here for a second. And I'm glad we did. Um, to be honest, I... I mean, I don't really want to get hit for 10, but I also don't really care about making you vulnerable and getting hit for 3. I'm just worried about surviving. So, go ahead and hit me for 10. Ah, yes! The almighty Echo Form. Now, we're in a much better situation. So, what would you play? I mean, Dual Cast crushes him. A doubled up Dual Cast. Easy enough, right? What comes next? Typically, uh, against this section, you probably, I think, would want to play defense. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, I, I do believe in this deck now. Uh, and you're doing 16 damage. I'll double up on this, even though it, it might be unnecessary. And we'll, we'll reinforce body. How much do we need to reinforce for? For two would be ideal, I guess. Yeah, taking zero. Dude, this is fine, as of right now. The only thing I will say... What would be incredible, and we should not have handled it like that, because we're about to take a nasty hit, I think, but... Oh no, he's gonna split, but just barely. Or he's gonna stop, but just barely. Uh, what we would really like is to put Echo Form in our starting hand, because we have Lantern, not to mention the default, you know, extra energy we have anyway. Uh, so I think if we, if we can get that, keep the deck pretty tight. Feeling good. Maybe replace our, uh, our strikes and defends one at a time with better versions of themselves. This is tough. I think with 4 to 5 energy per turn, we can add a buffer. It also gets way better on upgrading. And, dude, I don't think I care at all about potions. So, to go up to 5 energy, they were all energy relics. That's the best of the energy relics for us, for sure. We have to remove uh, cards. We have to be able to remove curses. It's just as simple as that. I think we should try to get on the double elite path. We're not taking damage as long as we play the defend. Yeah, I think as long as we... We have the opportunity to make something happen on the double elite path. Let's put it that way. Now, I could play buffer. The thing about buffer is... I, I mean, it's an amazing card. Do we really need it if we have echo form plus uh, defects? Maybe yes, maybe no. And plus defects? Plus defends is what I meant to say. We might be better off just going for the kill like we did right there. I will take a charge battery. I think it echo forms very nicely. This guy's a pain in the butt. Okay. Thanks for proving my point, nerd. Turns out like an Aura Calcum or something would be a really useful relic for us. Uh, or drawing more cards off the off the start. I do think we have to play echo form. And I'm going to start with Sweeping Beam just to see. I'm going to let you hit me for nine because we're going to kill you soon after that, hopefully. Just any means of healing would be worth quite a lot to us. Any means of healing, that's the way we're dealing. Any means of healing. Do, 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 He wants to win. He wants to sing. He wants everything. You guys like uh, Journey? Nah, me neither. Okay. I don't know what this turn was, but... We still have buffer. <laughs> well, that's about it. Uh, okay, let, let's let buffer do its work here, and we'll get some uh, bonus lightning and damage out there. Oh, buffer's not even going to work, because we all of our cards cost zero. I forgot about that. So this guy's screwed. He's already dead. Yeah, well, he's dead if we hit him a couple times. I think we can do with more ball lightnings. I'm going to veer, probably. We're going to go for maybe the one elite fight. Ah, uh, we can still... That's that's two elite fights. <laughs> Dude, give me... I'm going for the gusto here. One of these days, we're going to win that bet. Start question mark. Okay, since the question mark is combat, I think I'm glad we veered early. Um, if we play this for four, we'll take no damage. So we get two energy, risk-free. I also sort of feel like... I mean, if we just bring it back and play Charge Batteries, we're going to get two extra energy next turn by default. Plus, we got enough block. We do lose the Hologram, but so what, right? I know you're hearing the cat meow right now. Here's the thing. I love my son. My boy meows a lot. He's a big-time meow lord, 
okay? He doesn't need anything. He has food. We play with him. We love him. Sometimes it just, in his brain, he's like, this is the worst life you could ever imagine. I don't even know. The meow might be him saying, I love you, open the door. But when I open the door, he starts to, like, bite my hands. Dude, give me some frost. So it's a very complicated sort of love situation. Dude, I totally just realized, by the way, we can't even take Entropic Brew. I was so excited to get it. Entropic Brew is like, it's not like getting Brimstone, but it's like getting um, a Chaos card. Pretty much guarantees you an easy boss fight. Or elite fight in this case. Well, I love having a lot of energy. Because it means that our turns basically boil down to like, just play the cards in your hand. You're doing 22 damage, huh? It's a real, a real jerk move. So yes, you, you will have noticed, uh, 22 damage, yeah. You will have noticed I'm not going to be playing Echo Form. I don't think we need it here. Don't get me wrong, I would love to play it. I just don't think the, the optics work for us. We played Buffer so that that didn't matter too much to us right there. And then we won't have to do 13 damage. We got him, but albeit just barely. I'll take another Cold Snap, absolutely. Deck's getting a little thick, but the cards are pretty good. Now let's look at our next path. We de I think we want Shop Shop so that we can keep our deck free of curses. Now I, lo I know we're losing 3 max HP by removing this. Totally fine by me. And um... Apotheosis is pretty tempting, but I think I'm going to go Oracalcum. If only because we've had so many situations recently where an Oracalcum uh, appears to be incredibly useful. Namely, turn one, drawing no blocks, like just happened right now. Um, we'll echo form early. Cold snap, ball lightning strike. We should have eight block, which is not bad. That's actually, to take four damage on this fight when we drew no blocks. Sounds good to me. Um, I know you're going to be like, play buffer. But I don't think buffer is the thing we want to double here. Twelve damage, draw two cards. That's more my speed right now. Uh, I could dual cast... Kind of prefer like a hologram cold snap though, and then we can dual cast and hopefully get this guy pretty close. And uh, we're taking no damage, so let's charge battery for energy next turn. And he's dead on attack, so that's perfect. Now we have Echo Form. What would you play? Probably Ball Lightning. I know that we're not getting the uh, vulnerability out of it, but I don't really like doubling Beam Cell. We've lived our life doubling Beam Cell for so long. We need it. I really think self-repair is, like, essential. And that needs to be removed as soon as possible. Heal me for 28. And then, for 100, remove this. This is a really bad one because it's innate. Okay. I think we should try to fight the elite. Uh, You know, honestly, take my 10 gold. Just to leave me in a good spot to fight these elites. What I was going to say is, obviously, I shouldn't be, like, your number one... Um, and we actually prefer Oracalcum to playing the Defend, weirdly enough, but I shouldn't be like your number one source for how to play the Defect. But what I will say is that for whatever reason, my Defect play better than all of my other characters. This guy's going to hurt himself pretty badly on Bronze Scales, but we are taking some damage in the process. Oh my god. Once I will, I will allow this cat into the room. Never fear. Play your hand. Play your part three stacks. We're taking ten, we're healing ten. Sounds good to me. Man, okay, so it's 42 block. If we play it for four, we get 28, which is perfect. So let's let's just do some damage. I don't really want to do this. I think that's bad. I mean it's it, none of it was really worth it, but it's leaving him in a terrible spot. We only need to do like 14 damage to him. Oh my god. <laughs> Roka! My boy, what is it? Gremlin Horn is okay. Um, and I think we don't need any of this other stuff for now. Let's go peep this. Uh, you know what? It's a little late for Ritual Dagger to get good, but it is good. I mean, it's worth decent damage by itself, but it exhausts. Is that good or bad? I think I'm just going to take the 99 gold, even though it's a bit of the coward's way out here. We're going to double up the value of buffer. I, compared to the last floor, I'm more skeptical. 
Here, if you want to sleep on the desk, allow me to give you a little clean desk there, Ruka. You don't have to sit on a dirty desk. There you go. There you go. Oh, what a good boy. Okay. We're going to do this. And we're always hoping to draw Echo Form. Purging an Ascender's Bane? Sure, sounds good to me. Have to play Echo Form as soon as it shows up. I am like literally 0% concerned about, oh no, we took 11 damage. Who cares? Might matter in the long run, but for now it's irrelevant. Because we have Echo Form out there, I really think a buffer is absurdly good. So that's 31 block for 2 energy. Don't even play the defense. Doesn't matter. Okay. Remember, whatever you play gets doubled. So a Cold Snap is pretty good here. Play it into a Hologram. Uh, I mean, Hologram Beam Cell is like okay, but I think I'd rather get some extra Lightning out on the field early. We do want some vulnerability on him. Now, it would be nice to buffer. And we'll get 10 block plus 12 damage here. Not buffer, sorry, block. This would be 14 plus another... F eh. Well, we're going to purge these anyway, like, doubtlessly. So let's... For one energy, we get two energy next turn. And then... 19, that's 23 block. 26 block. Oh, I love it. So he's hitting for 31. We don't have to do anything here. Um, we don't have to block is what I mean. And we're not gonna. Um, I think we're just gonna hit him with the strongest attacks that we have. Now, I am gonna play self-repair. It's just to get it out of my system, really. Like, he's perfectly taking a turn to remove his debuffs here, which is very nice for me. Um, I was just trying to exhaust uh, self-repair, basically, is what I'm getting at. Now, this would take all of our buffers, but that's not necessarily bad, I think. Let's try to block... Like, if we could block one of them, I'd consider that acceptable. So we're only losing one buffer. We didn't do too much damage to him, but... This is a tough one, because usually you're going to want to, like, reinforce body. But we can reinforce body for four. So we could do, like, this... This, this, staying ahead of the curve here. The more we can preserve that buffer, the better our odds of survival are. Um, here, this again, is a tough one. Do you start going for broke and accept that, like, on this one, you're going to take 45 damage or something? In which case, you probably want to start with a sweeping beam. Double up on that, then this, then this. Like, I think we want draw more than vulnerability. We're lucky to draw two attacks. Okay. Is there any... There's not a point to playing them or not playing them. It was like literally the same as Orichalcum. Okay, so we're on... We're not lethal yet. And he's dead. That was really good. That was a good fight. Strong, mathematical, sensible fight. Tough choice. Hyper Beam is not what we want. We do use orbs. Core Surge is really good. Reboot is pretty great as well. This is better without an upgrade. Then this, I think, so I'm going to go with Core Surge. We don't know if we're going to get a chance to upgrade. You can no longer rest at rest sites. That seems horrible. Um, do we need the energy? Probably not. So the, the White Beast statue is nothing. And Inserter is not bad, but I don't think it really fits our bill. Now, we don't really roll a combo deck, so we have a chance here. I really believe it. Um, we just want to take a path that gives us a shop after a chest. And, I mean, the most likely path is probably this one. Because we want to be able to remove a curse. 20 block, huh? So three of those is fine. Well, but we're not gonna... You get the idea. Let's take out Master Exploder first. I don't mind the dazes. Oh, as far as Ascension goes, we're actually rolling like a relatively thick deck. I think. Ooh, 13, we're gonna take one. Not bad with self-repair active. I didn't think this guy attacked. Usually we'd target him first, so it makes sense that we wouldn't even know, but. Well, absolutely. We're getting an extra two block. I don't really want to get hit for six because it means we'll take more damage in the long run. He's done. 
You're just completely done. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, it's tough. I'm going to skip, even though they're pre-upgraded. Tempted, though. Absolutely, fight a boss from Act 1. I'm ready. Dude, a turn 1 Echo Form is so amazing. Now, all we want to do is not get hit for 50 on this turn. We should be able to get there. Usually, we'd probably double up on Defend. And then reinforce Body for another 28. And then we'll just start attacking him next turn. The fact that we blocked through him there, it should make his friggin' head explode. So we'll go uh, Sweeping Beam for the excellent draw potential, and then yes, 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 yes. And here's where the orbs could potentially do some great work for us. We got 12 damage passively on the field. Generally speaking, we try to double up on charge battery. Pays dividends later. And this guy's in a world of hurt, man. Uh, we're not going to get to 16 block. So we'll, we'll buffer. Just look at where it's 6 block. You know, I think he just... Okay, never mind. <laughs> but still, we get to keep 3 buffers. That's, that's decent enough. Not my smartest play, but that's okay. Uh, on this one, we need to get to 20 block. That's pretty simple. I mean, we could just... It might not be the most economical way to do it, but... We can always just toss this one in there. I mean, this guy's gonna hurt himself real bad. I gotta say, Inserter's doing a little bit better than I thought it would. What are you doing? Oh, you haven't even put the business on yourself yet. It's great news for me. Are you starting to believe? I have a belief in this one. We won our last uh, defect run, and it, I'll be the first to tell you, it was lucky. We got one of the best, like, boss relics. I think you, though at least it's been added recently. Remember, we don't want to lose any HP. Well, that's unfortunate then, isn't it? <laughs> well, if we do this, we lose three. You know what? Actually, we're better off not playing anything. Or a Calcum will just kill him combined with, or it'll block enough, and then he'll die in conjunction with our uh, scales. Pocket Watch. Whenever you play three or less cards in a turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. Uh, my brain is too fried to figure out if this is worth anything for us. Defrag seems awesome. Uh, so we want to hit here, which means we have to go this way. This doesn't seem like it'll be good for us uh, based on the way we've constructed our deck. That's what I'll say about that. I think we do want to play Charge Battery. We're going to take some damage here. We'll play a Self-Repair. One of these out. We're trying to hurt them like roughly equal amounts. It's fine. With the Self-Repair, we can actually not feel horrible about taking damage. And we're actually going to take none this turn as well, which is a real surprise. Don't really want to hit you, so... Mercury Hourglass. Bronze Scales. Slowly working them down. We really suffer when we don't get Echo Form out there early. I'm not sure if you've noticed. Um, so it's 18 plus 22. It's 40 damage. We can get to 37 just by playing this. Or if we play this. I, rem I don't remember what order it goes in. But this will block two attacks. So worst case scenario, it's two for 18. This is two for 14. I'm not even running the numbers. I'm letting Theory get me. Let's see. The theory got me. It boomed me. Uh, you're at 16, so you're close to death here. Dude, have I ascended? Did I? It, was it just that I had to suffer first? And now that I understand a little bit, your boy's getting it. Check this out. Your hologram sweeping beam. That way you get, uh, yeah, yeah, you're seeing it. You're seeing it. You're seeing it. We should have defragged first, but what does it matter? Look at that. We picked our turn. We struck. An innate chill is kind of tempting. I kind of like the ball lightnings. The more of those we stack, the better it seems to work for us. Now, don't spend too much. I will say, um, 25% less HP for elites seems useful since we are taking an elitish path here. Um, has to be played. Painful. Very helpful, by the way. Thank you. You're doing how much? 18? We're still gonna get hit. 
We get hit for seven. We should never be hit again. This is totally okay. Um, so we are... Oh, so good. We are kind of waiting on a, a self-repair, maybe. I mean, he literally cannot hurt me anymore. So just make sure you play self-repair uh, self first if it shows up. I'm not being, like, cute about it. He literally can't hurt us. We have three buffers. Okay, now that self-repair is played first, nothing he can do can hurt us. Doesn't really matter what we... I mean, we could just literally end the turn. That's also fine. And we get so much extra draw thanks to Pocket Watch. I don't know if that'll work into our next fight if it carries over like that, but if it does, that was an unintentionally smart play on my part. I think it's just a little late for go for the eyes. So obviously it didn't work like that, but... Uh, it's not even worth playing a defend. No self-repair. He's doing 45 damage, huh? That's, uh, that's like a lot. That's a lot of damage. So we'll play all of our defends. And then with two energy remaining, we'll play our other two cards that help us get more block. Quite painful, though. Would have been a really good turn for... Reinforced body, just throwing that out there. Uh, and, you know, I'm most perturbed, if anything, uh, that we haven't been able to get that echo form out there yet. It's a really bad fight to have it show up so late. So this is basically seven block times two. This is four block. Four, five, seven times two. So we can get to literally 21. Like this. We don't get to play Echo Form, but... Yeah, we take... Oh, actually, I did the math way wrong, because we got to keep an extra buffer there. And we're only going to heal for 10 after this. That's life, I guess. Um, 14 plus another 8, 22. So we're taking no damage. We should hologram a damage dealer. And Ball Lightning fits the bill. Still got one buffer remaining. Perfect opportunity. This is a great turn for that to be used. Whenever you play three or less. Three or less. How do you feel about that? Now we get extra draw next turn. Keep that in mind against the timekeeper. There will be some times where that will probably help you out a great deal. Okay. We're not bad against multiple enemies. I don't mind this too much. Go, oh, Gremlin Horn, so useful. In certain situations. So be a great Echo Form self-repair situation. We don't really get to choose whether or not that's going to be possible, but you always hope. Nah, it was a, kind of a bad play there. The defect rules against the spikers, though. Great turn. As long as you have lightning orbs, you just slowly, you know, grind them down, more or less. So we'd like uh, early defense. If they give us bonus energy, that's even better. Um, we'll try something like this. And we're really, uh, I mean, to be honest with you, literally what I was about to say was just waiting on self-repair, and then we drew it. <laughs> Still good. That it showed up, but not what we wanted to show up at that moment. Uh, 189 gold, we literally, we would never do it, but we cannot do it because we need to get rid of this curse. Kunai is somewhat helpful, and then um, we're hoping, and let's make one of these holograms uh, immortal. We're hoping at this point for shops. My god, he's done it. So we can run a curseless deck. We don't play enough powers for heat sinks to be uh, that useful, I think. So we're going to go here. I think we rest just to get us to max HP. And if we didn't need to, even better, right? He lost 140, roughly, HP right off the bat. So I'm a happy man. Now remember, hey, you're not supposed to play it like this. You're supposed to play all of your defense, then your attacks. No beam cell. All right, so what do we play? Anything that's not an attack comes out first. Then probably vulnerabilities. Oops. Uh, 
We're gonna take no damage on this turn. We're gonna lose a buffer for, for not a good cause. But we didn't have a choice in the matter. So we probably zap first. Then you would do sweeping beam. Sure, okay. Debuff doesn't matter to me because we got core surge out there, basically just by luck. Um, now, we, have, we still haven't played Echo Form. I think we would like a hologram a sweeping beam. And then let's hologram something that costs zero. This is time dilation. Nah. Do it like that. I genuinely, and I say, dude, it, here's the thing. Dude, please. The worst case, and we should have done at least a block, but the worst case scenario right now is that we, in all likelihood, would die against the final boss for like the third time in a row. You might think that that would tilt me beyond belief. You would be wrong. I would be a little proud of myself. Now we just play our cards. Uh, what's worth the most? Ball lightning. So we'll go hoop, 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 hoop. We are going to take negative one damage. That's beautiful. And you are just in a, just a world of hurt, my friend. Obviously, I'd like to improve on dying to the final boss, but things seem to be going pretty well. Give me that leap. Yes. Um, I will add one colorless card to my deck, because I am a coward. And I think Apotheosis is an acceptable choice. And then immediately, I'm going to save myself one energy, and this is it. This is our deck for Ascension level 10 on the defect. Buffers are important. You know what? We want to play less than three cards. We would like to get some lightning out there. How do you like that? Stopwatch works for us. Nine cards this turn. Echo form has to be played. Uh, we'd like to block. A leap is pretty great. What do we have that costs zero? Dual cast. I don't think it's worth pulling. I honestly don't. I think you play... Leap? I think you do play Zap. We would like to block. So let's hologram. We'll bring back Zap. Okay, so we're, we're screwing over uh, Stopwatch. But I think it's okay. We get four cards next turn. We take 15 damage. It's not that bad. Uh, now that we have Echo Form. Double up. We have 24 block. We have to play our next card to make him stronger. We'll block everything. We're just waiting until we get a buffered Echo Form out there. And that's where this can start to really pop. It's not going to happen this turn. We will make him super vulnerable. And you know what? I don't want to see it again. Get it out of my deck. I know it costs us a card. Get it out of here. 45 damage. That's bad. All we can really do... Um, maybe this. This is a tough one for me. I think we play everything, accepting that we only get one card next turn. Because it gives us decks for the future, and it also uh, gives us a... Um, a stopwatch for the next turn. That's not really that fair. It, exactly what we were hoping for. Even though we only get one buffer out of it. That's worth a ton. Okay. So now we get stopwatch. He's doing 36 damage. We're half dead and he's not. So it looks bad. But I think it looks worse than it is. 24. He's doing 36. It's alright. One of those gets us there. Beam cell. We're going to strike. We're going to hologram. We're going to bring back beam cell. It gives us extra decks. We're going to play leap and pass turn. Starting to get him there. Now, this is the turn we don't want to hurt him unnecessarily. We'd like to get him below 50% HP in five cards. Uh, and we still we want to play this for three. So, I think we just play everything. Ah, it gets played twice. That's right. So, we can only play two more cards. Okay, taking no damage. We still have a buffer. If we're not killing him this turn... You might as well play nothing. Get three extra draw next turn. We're not killing him this turn. Pass turn. You play nothing. Three extra cards. He's doing 42. That wouldn't even lethal us at the best of times. So, we're going to start with the block. As you think is very sensible. Taking no damage. Only get four cards next turn. That's okay. 
What's he doing? Hidden for 38. Only get four cards. He's gonna go up to... 30, 40 damage, which means we need three energy. So I think it's this, this, and this. We're going to win. We got him. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, Chaotic Neutral wins the day. There were some times I wasn't sure if we'd get there, but that's Ascension Level 10 handled as the defect. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, click the like button. It helps the great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Ooh.